This table is really unstable. Anyway, what's up people? Hey, today, um, today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. This table is super hot as well. Uh, I had a, you know, as some of you may or may not know, I'm into drones and airplanes and things that fly. And there's this fun uh, uh, YouTube channel called Flight Test that I watch all the time because those guys are hilarious and they sell fun do-it-yourself models and kits, cardboard airplanes, that kind of thing. Uh, they have a kit called the um, Gremlin which is a tiny a tiny little drone. I think it'll probably be, I don't know, that, that big once I get it assembled. I ordered up one of these kits. Um, I'll link uh, their information below, the website and that kind of thing, but um, I just got it in the mail a little bit ago, so I wanted to open it up and uh, show you guys what you get when you order one of these uh, Gremlin kits from uh, Flight Test. So, get this box. Uh, they were had a promotion where you get a free battery, so I got that battery. And there, so this is the airframe for the Gremlin. I got the um, the Josh Bixler model, and then all the electronics, the electronics kit. So, one thing, uh, they always give me a screwdriver, flight test uh, Phillips head screwdriver, which is cool. I got like three or four of these now. So out of the box, we got um, a set of props. We actually got two sets of props. Uh, here's the uh, uh, flight controller little tiny flight controller guy you see it right there uh, and then here is a uh, ESC so we got one two three four ESC's uh, some miscellaneous screws and the four motors uh, some more miscellaneous screws and a little tiny allen wrench a couple stickers so that's the electronics box and then in the kit here the uh, carbon fiber frame so I believe this thing screws together like that or like this or probably like that actually this looks like the camera mounting camera mounting kit uh, flight test sticker <clears throat> and a tiny zip tie for something I suppose oh one thing I forgot it comes with the camera let me let me go grab that okay and the uh, FPV camera. This little, little guy right here with its uh, cute little uh, lens cap. So, that's what comes in a kit for the price. Um, I remember how much exactly this was, like 120 bucks or something. But uh, you can look it up on their website and I'll link it below. So now I'm just gonna do a, um, uh, putting it together, a little time lapse. Um, and I'll talk about the build and how clear it was, I'm gonna use their build video that they uh, that they put out, I think like a year ago or something. It, it doesn't use this frame necessarily, but it uh, looks like all the components are the same. So I'm gonna be referencing that build video, um, time-lapse my build of it, and we'll just talk about it real quick and take it for a test flight. So uh, let's get to work and see how she goes. All right, well, it's a couple days later and I finally got the drone finished up. I uh, got it tuned up last night and did a small little tiny test flight, but battery wasn't all the way charged up, so it was kind of wonky. So 
I got Iron Man as my little helper here today. All right, so I'm gonna arm the drone and let's go. There's a, well, there's a fair bit amount of wind, so we'll see how that goes too. And you know what? I should turn it around. <laughs> turn it around. So it's the right orientation. <laughs> All right, here we go. That was a bad flight, pretty good. But when it hit the ground, the battery shifted, which is a little annoying. And then the uh, props hit the little wires. But pick it back up, let's try to fly some more. I tried to do it. I got these one with my bow rope. <laughs> Did my first flip. Oh, uh, I didn't catch it. I will to watch it again. Wait, let me, I'm trying to find it in here. Okay, got it. <laughs> Alright, so that was pretty good. The, the bushes caught it really nice. Didn't, didn't, doesn't look like it got hurt. Props are good. It's hitting. I think we're good to try it again. Oh, try, try it again. It's pretty drunk. This thing is pretty sturdy. Crashed on the ground, what, like three times now? Mm. And even even this prop is bent. I don't know if you can see it. But I just kind of bent it back. Why it? Why it? You it? Yay! All right, well, the glue popped off the receiver. So that's pretty easy, just glue that back on. Other than that, I crashed this thing like four times. Yeah. And it looks pretty good. I did dodge it again. It's mainly because Iron Man here keeps blasting it out of the sky. Do what now? So let's uh, head back uh, to the table and let's talk about my thoughts on the build. And it's pretty fun though, so far I like it. All right, so that went pretty good. Uh, the maiden flight of the Flight Test Gremlin uh, Josh uh, edition. Um, thing handles really well. It's, you know, it's a, I haven't flown like a RC helicopter in a long time. You just have those little tiny RC helicopters and my dad's really into RC helicopters. Um, flies a lot like that. It doesn't fly like the DJI drones, obviously, because there's no automatic GPS stabilization. You actually have to fly this like an RC plane. Um, yeah, as you saw in the little uh, video there, I crashed this thing several times. Um, the hot glue detached the uh, receiver, so I'll just have to hot glue that back to the plate here. And only one of these props got bent just a little bit here on the corner. I just bend it back. Still is flying pretty good, so. Um, there's no no cracks or creases in any of them, so I, I'll just fly like that. Uh, a few notes on the build. Uh, I just followed along with the build video that's on uh, Flight Test's YouTube site. Um, I'm gonna put all these links in a short description of of uh, any of the build notes that I had, uh, which I've got here on the computer um, in the description below. So check those out. I'm also gonna have links to um, 
program application, um, uh, BL for the BL heli. And I also had to download another um, program called uh, Impulse RC, and that fixed the driver issue of being able to flash the updated firmware to to the flight controller. So they had firmware on the flight controller when I got it. It's not like the build video where it says there isn't any, um, but I couldn't get it to arm, and that may or may not have anything to do with the build with the firmware on the flight controller, but um, I did figure out how to flash it anyway. I had to go to the uh, forums a couple times on flight test and uh, I could find found all my answers there. So uh, it was they were very helpful in that. And I didn't even have to ask any questions because people have encountered these issues and I just had to read a little bit and figured it out. So um, other than that, the build process is uh, real straightforward. The most difficult part was getting the drone to arm because uh, it's called the min, the min check value, where the drone says that the throttle on the transmitter is low enough to be able to turn on the drone safely without cutting fingers off accidentally or anything like that. Uh, to find that value and then set it accordingly on your transmitter and make it all match up. So. Uh, that was the biggest headache to try to figure that out, especially since I've got no experience setting these things up or even setting up these transmitters. So, um, but it took me an evening, probably about three hours, to get the the drone programmed, um, the uh, controller set up, and everything working. So, I'm I'm pretty happy. It wasn't uh, wasn't as easy as they made it look on the on the build video but those guys are professionals they do it all the time so <clears throat> some of that's to be expected okay well just to uh, wrap things up here a little bit um i'm super happy with this drone um for the price and for what you get it's a it's a super super fun little drone uh even without the fpv goggles i think it really is meant to be fpv only um but learning to fly this just line of sight is really going to help me with my sticks uh, orientation and hand-eye hand coordination while flying for this drone, RC planes, and uh, the DJI products I fly. So I'm looking to have a lot of fun with this. I'm going to put a lot more batteries through it, just line of sight, and hopefully I'll get some FPV goggles in the future. So until then, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it uh, useful. Uh, if you guys are building your own little flight test drone, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, give me a like and subscribe if you like this video. I'll, I'll try to keep making some more fun videos like this. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.